Hey there, YouTubers! So I just wanted to give a quick update on the cyst that I have on my wrist. Can sort it. There you go. It's still there. Um, still there because I went to a hand specialist. Um, actually, the hand specialist specialist that I went to. <laughs> um, the specific reason that I went to this person uh, rather than someone else was I read online that uh, before they became a doctor doctor they had spent five years uh, as a physical therapist specializing uh, in physical therapy for spinal cord injury patients so I figured hey I'm a spinal cord injury patient that might be a good idea uh, and he was super duper friendly and knowledgeable and he basically said there are four things that can be done. First thing, leave it alone. If it's not bothering you, me, you meaning me, if it's not bothering me all that much, uh, just leave it alone. Second thing, he can stick a needle in there and suck out the, um, I don't know, the gunk, the juice, the fluid, whatever you want to call it. Um, Third thing, uh, surgery to remove it. Fourth thing, uh, and this is something that he said he doesn't usually offer to patients. However, he said because of my circumstance, meaning wheelchair user, uh, he thought it might be an, an option, and that's um, cortisone shot, uh, which wouldn't actually get rid of it, but it would ha help with the pain. Um, so, I said, basically, I want to do, I want to avoid surgery at all costs, because I don't have a good track record with surgery to begin with, so, uh, and he said, yeah, I agree, that's not about my track record, but he's like, you want to avoid surgery, if, if at all possible. Um, so that, so option number three was not, not going to be considered. Um. In terms of option number two, he said that sticking a needle in and sucking out or pulling out that fluid um, typically doesn't doesn't really work that well. It'll get rid of the bump for, it'll, I mean, it'll get rid of it, but something like eighty percent of the time, he said, it just comes back, and sometimes it comes back within a few days. So that didn't seem like a great option either. Um, then in terms of the cortisone, I wasn't, I mean, I was having pain, but it wasn't like, it wasn't to the point where I couldn't use my hand at all. So I was like, eh, that doesn't sound like a really good idea either. Um, so basically decided on option one, which was not doing anything. Sort of. Um, so he said, put ice on it when you can to decrease inflammation and help out with the pain. Anti-inflammatories, um, again, to decrease inflammation and help out with pain. Um, and he suggested that I sleep uh, with a wrist brace on um, so that um, to help support it, I guess, um, while I'm, while I'm sleeping. So I've been doing that, um, I sleep, I've been sleeping with the wrist brace on, and, uh, do the ice pack, and inflammatories, if I feel, anti-inflammatories, if I feel I really need it, but I don't like to take medication too often, so it's more the wrist brace and the ice pack. And also I can do things like, I can sort of change my behavior in order to stay off of it. In terms of like, so, normally when I would pull up my pants after going to the bathroom, I'd get on the floor and put my hand down and balance on this hand and pull up my pants. Uh, but that would aggravate this. So instead, I can sort of put my forearm on the floor instead of doing it with my hand 
this way I don't have all that pressure on my wrist. So I've been doing stuff like that and it's been better. Um, granted there are certain times when I can't avoid or, or I can't change that behavior and I have to put pressure on the wrist and it's gonna hurt um, but for that I have the ice pack, anti-inflammatory, stuff like that. So anyway, there you go, update on the wrist stuff. Um, if it gets a lot worse, then for sure I will try the needle and sucking that crap out. Uh, and if that doesn't work, um, you know, last resort would probably be the surgery. Um, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and uh, stay safe out there.